A few days ago, the NTSB released its initial report on the MD-11 crash at Louisville, Kentucky earlier this month. This report confirmed what most people knew, that the left engine had separated from the aircraft during takeoff. They released this series of stills from a UPS security camera showing the aircraft after it had rotated and just as it was lifting off. The left engine is seen to pitch upwards as the rear attachment point of the pylon fails and it pivots around the forward point driven by the thrust of the engine. And this thrust continues for a few seconds even after the engine leaves the plane as it burns through the fuel in its lines. This launches the engine up over the top of the aircraft. And this meant any debris ejected by the engine would be right in the path of engine 2. And this may seem like terrible bad luck, but it's actually the result of the physics of the situation. When an airliner like this pitches up, it puts extra stress on those engines. The core of the engines act like gyroscopes. And in the US, most engines appear to rotate clockwise when viewed forward along the length of the plane. This means that as the aircraft pitches up, that translates to a right turning force on the engines, adding extra stress to those pylons. And so when the forward attachment point failed, the engine was already turning up and right, pointing it up and across the top of the fuselage. At this point, we don't know for sure how this may have caused a second engine failure that doomed the plane, but we do have some evidence from NTSB labs that showed that the pylons already exhibited pre-accident cracks that could have led to the fracture. As of right now, the MD-11 and related DC-10 fleets remain grounded in the US as engineers try to come up with a way to ensure their safety.